all right viewers welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video as we can see we have a question on the board and we are asked to calculate for the following but before then let me read the question then we see how we can solve it a heating element of 2.2 ohms resistance is connected to a battery of emf 12 volts and internal resistance 0 0.09 ohm Calculate A, current flow, B, terminal voltage of the battery on load, C, the power dissipated by the heater. What they mean here is that we have the diagram that we retrieve from the question. Alright, so as we can see, the axis that we should calculate for the current that is flowing through this particular energized circuit. This is a generated voltage. The, the voltage, the EMF that the battery have, but a load is connected to it. Anytime a load is connected to an EMF, there will be a terminal voltage, and the terminal voltage will not be equal, meaning that it's going to be lesser than the EMF. But in case you have a battery and there is no load connected to it, then there we say, EMF is equal to the terminal voltage. Let's use the car battery as an example. If a car battery is charged and you have a EMF, a generated voltage of, of 12 volts, if there is no load connected to it, there will not be any current that will flow. And therefore, when you check the cathode and the anode, when I say cathode and the anode, the cathode is a negative side, the anode is a positive side. So when you test with your meter, your instrument, you will see that you will have the same amount of voltage when there is no load connected to it. So as soon as there is a load connected to it, that means there will be a current that will flow. And that current that will flow will cause the battery to, to allow some current to flow. And that current that will flow will cause the terminal voltage to be lesser. So in this question, what we are asked is we are asked first to calculate for the current. So we put the general formula for EMF, which is e equal to current times R. Now, as we can see, we have an internal resistance within the battery. This internal voltage, the internal resistance is given by the letter, small letter R. And the load is given by the capital, uh, capital resistance, capital R. So we say here, we have to, because the internal resistance is, is in series with the load resistance, we say EMF is equal to total current times, so now here it will be what? Load resistance plus the internal resistance. So here we say EMF is what? 12 volts. Total current is unknown. Times, so the load resistance becomes... 2.2 plus the internal resistance 0 0.09 so here we see total current okay so let's add this plus this all right so you let total current stands alone here we see 2.2 plus 0 0.9 when we add it becomes one value it's multiplied by this so when you cross the equal sign it will divide the 12 so we say 12 divided by so let's add 2.2 plus 0 0.09 so 2.2 plus 0 0.09 we have our answer as 2.29 so now let's divide 12 divided by 2.29 we have our answer as 5.24 so 5.24 arms as our total current so this becomes our total current so we say a so they've asked us a to calculate for the total current now b they say we should calculate for the te terminal vo terminal voltage of the battery on load so we want to know the terminal voltage that is on this load and i told you that earlier on that as load is connected to a battery once the battery the circuit is switched on then we can say the terminal voltage will be lesser. So let's calculate. You see that it will be lesser than the EMF. So we say B, terminal voltage, 
So let's use the small letter T as to represent terminal. It's equal to EMF minus current times the internal resistance. So we say terminal voltage is equal to the EMF is known as 12 minus we have our total current as 5.24 times the internal resistance 0 0.09 so terminal voltage 12 minus so let's multiply 5.24 by 0 0.09 so 5.24 times 0 0.09 we have our answer as 0 0.47 so terminal voltage is equal to so let's see 12 minus 0 0.47 we have our answer as 11.53 volts as we can see it's not it's not equal with the 12 volt meaning that the terminal voltage reduced because there is a load that is connected to it. the moment you switch on a circuit the terminal voltage reduces so we now that we have our terminal voltage and we have the total current we can calculate for the power so power is equal to total current times the terminal voltage so we say power is equal to total current is 5.24 and the terminal voltage is 11.53 so 11.53 so power is equal to, so let's see, uh, we have 5.24 times 11.53. We have our answer as 60.42, 60.42 watts. So this becomes our power, 60.42 watts. So this is the answer for this particular question. When you are given a circuit that a load is connected to it, know that the terminal voltage will not be equal with the EMF. But if there is a no load connected to it, then we say terminal voltage or EMF they becomes equivalent. So this becomes our answer for this. There are more that I will calculate with you in the next video. But for now, this is the answer for this particular question. All right, go to YouTube and write David Tetequote. If you want to see my video, write David Tetequote into bracket, calculation and practice, and you see more of my videos. I have the para, para, series, para, series, para calculation, series uh, calculation, para calculation, voltage drop. I have all those on YouTube. So write, viewers, subscribe, comment, and share my videos. But for now, this is the answer for this particular, this particular question. Right. Meet you in the next video or in another video. Bye for now.